I wanted to share with you uh, some beauty, fragrance, lifestyle items that I've been loving recently. So stay tuned if you want to hear more. Becky and welcome to my channel and thank you so much for clicking on this video today. I hope you're having a great day and not too hot. Look at me. Look at me. I'm a shiny mess. <laughs> it is still super, super warm here. Um, and I didn't film a video today and I thought let's just do a little chill video where I talk about some things I've been loving because recently I feel like I found some stuff that I just absolutely love. Um, so if you enjoy this kind of video, um, I do plus size fashion, beauty, lifestyle videos, home all that good stuff then I would absolutely love it if you'd hit that subscribe button down below it's free to subscribe um, and it just means that YouTube will show you more of my content when I upload every Tuesday and Thursday regularly uploading on my channel um, so yeah give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it as well and let me know some of your favorite things that you've maybe recently discovered down below in the comments be that makeup be that a new snack, anything, let me know down below. So also if I sound bugged up, I'm on the back end of a cold and I think it's a bit of hay fever too. So I can hear that I'm nasal and I'm sure you can hear I'm nasal too. So it is what it is and I'm very sorry about it. Uh, so first up, let's talk about this dress. This is a nobody's child dress I bought off uh simply be i absolutely love it i would get up and show you if i had the space but i don't right now <laughs> so, <laughs> i absolutely love this it's all like um like labels and posters for like holiday destinations got this in a 24 it is a little snug and i can't wear a bra with it so if you are big and busted it does run quite small so you might want to size up uh especially in the boobler region but I love this dress. They also do it in a like uh three quarter sleeve mini dress, but it is mini, so bear that in mind. This is a mini length dress. I'll pop a picture up on the screen so you get the idea. So I've got my little basket of goodies here. Um I don't know where to start. Shall we do makeup first? So I have been absolutely been loving this revolution ultra cream bronzer in light when i bought it i thought i'd all bought the wrong shade i thought they did a fair i did google after this is the lightest shade um as you can see i've had to be quite careful with it i don't dig my brush in too much it's very pigmented um and a little does go a long way but it blends out beautifully as you can see there especially when you've got a denser brush it blends really really nicely it also has the most fabulous tropical scent uh this is six quid and this is going to last you a lifetime if you're as fair as me they also obviously do this in other shades so if you're not as fair as me uh there are other options for you but i just think if you are wanting something similar to um that makeup by mario cream bronzer that i have but you were kind of disappointed with how sheer it was this is a much like this is what i thought the makeup by mario was going to be like quite a dewy bronzer uh cream bronzer so really really love this and for six pounds um i think it's a bargain i picked mine up in boots in store now up next it's a biggie uh i love the dior oh my god i don't want to drop any uh rosy glow blushes uh so i had the oh gosh i've got to organize them all i've had the original two uh since last year since they did go viral i my mum has had this shade in the old packaging for years and she loves it um i'm pretty sure she's used up now um i was always a little bit skeptical skeptical i was never a blush girl for a really long time just because i am so fair and um, when i'm actually wearing this shade today it's very very fresh pretty pink it's just pretty um they do kind of 
adjust a bit to your complexion apparently um and they are a lot less um daunting on application as you can see there they're very very buildable and i will say the shades that they had to begin with definitely were more suitable to uh lighter complexion so this is the coral shade this is probably my most worn out of the two um it's absolutely beautiful these aren't cheap uh these are they were originally 29 they've now gone up to 35 pounds however um i think if you don't ha have a lot of makeup and you just want like one really nice peach or pink blush these are hard pressed so they're going to last you an incredibly long time um, and they're very very pretty easy to use um they could be a great option if you just want to have like one amazing staple that you can wear every day with any look um, but they did come out with some new shades this is one of the, the makeup launches i've been most excited about all year so i did go a little bit crazy <laughs> Uh, so I first purchased, um, on day of launch, I was that girl, uh, these two shades. So I got Rosewood, which I believe is the one that everyone is most excited about. Um, and it is a bit more of kind of like a nudie pink. However, it still definitely comes off quite pink, but it is very, very pretty. Pop that there. So it's got a little bit more brown in it, but that pH powder in there will make it go a little bit more pink. And that's why I was incredibly excited for this shade. This is the mahogany shade. And I just knew it was going to be something so unique to my collection. But I also thought it was going to be super pretty. This is for autumn. This is not for summer at the moment. It is the most unusual blush I own. Now, this is obviously very, very brown, almost chocolatey. Um, but because it's got that pink ph power <laughs> whatever we want to call it um it it makes a pinky brown shade now obviously i have to be incredibly incredibly light touch with this because it is brown but when i do do put it on ever so ever so lightly with a brush diffuse it out it makes this kind of like mauve blush which is going to be absolutely stunning for autumn winter so if you have a large makeup collection you love experimenting playing with different types of makeup this one is such an interesting shade i don't think people are talking about it enough because they're enamored by rosewood and all of its gorgeous neutralness this is really interesting really fun um and i'm really glad that i picked it up and then I saw a TikTok of Meredith Dewsbury. I think that's how she's got like a billion followers on TikTok. She put this on and it looked gorgeous. This is in the shade Cherry. I would have named it Watermelon because it's this most gorgeous, punchy pop of, I guess, cherry red. But to me, when you add that pink, remember these all add pink to this colour it does go a watermelon pink. Again, I have to go very, very light with this. It's very pigmented, the shade, um, but it is gorgeous. And also uh, my boyfriend did get me, um, I think it was for Christmas this year, he got me the Cherry Dior Lip Glow. So this on the cheeks, I wore this yesterday, this on the cheeks, um with the lip glow maybe just a winged eyeliner or nothing on your nothing on your lids which is a really fun poppy fresh look so they are expensive i've not put any wipes down with me so i'm gonna have these on me for the rest of the video but if you want to treat yourself highly highly recommend those dior blushes now let's get a little bit more affordable uh, and get on to talking about some lip goodies I have fallen in love with Kiko lip glosses all over again. Uh, so I picked up these shades quite recently. They have launched a little summer collection and I picked up 42, which is this gorgeous, almost like a copper lip gloss. They are so pigmented and gorgeous and juicy, but they're not sticky at all. A vanilla scent, the packaging for Kiko, it's almost comical like 
Kiko's packaging is so Kiko, it hurts. Uh, they always just go over and above <laughs> with the packaging, um, which is it, a little bit Marmite. I don't, I don't love it, but I also love it. <laughs> I, can't just, I can't explain it. I wouldn't want them to change for the world because it's so iconic. Uh, so that's 42 and that's part of the new summer collection. And then these are part of the permanent range. Um, my favourite are the shimmers. So this is 31. I wear this one quite often. This is probably my favourite shade. We are putting it over that bronzer. This one is a little less um, opaque, but this is perfect with uh like lip liners and stuff like that love that with a lip liner just at like there's so much sparkle can you see the sparkle it's so pretty um and then finally this one's a bit more of a cream gloss but there are still some sparkles this is a number seven um and it's so nice and that's just a bit more of a peachy a bit more of a peachy tone so I love these glosses. I think they are probably my favourite gloss formula, if I'm honest, of all time. Um, and if you are in Kiko, um, I picked this up and I really like it, as you can see. Already put a huge dent in it. This is the Freezing Dew Fresh Effect Face Fixing Mist. It kind of reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury, but it's a bit more dewy than that. Um, it's got a nice mister. Very fine but it does smell like roses. So if you don't like scent or you don't like floral scents in particular on your face, that's my least favourite thing about it, but I do think it's a really nice setting mist. Uh, it's also, uh, it's 50 mil. I think it's a really good handbag size as well. It's quite a good little, a smaller little setting spray. Um, Kiko, I would say like they used to be drugstore price, but they're not so much anymore. So this is an okay price, uh, but it's not like really, really affordable. So just bear that in mind with Kiko. Their prices are like creeping up. I'm like, excuse me, excuse me. Can we rein it in please? Uh, but I love their glosses. There's quite a few things that I like from Kiko. Let me know if you want me to do like a Kiko video because yeah, I'd love an excuse to <laughs> buy some more bits from Kiko. Um, and then talking about more lip goodies, we've got the Rare Beauty lip oils. I wear these so, so much. Uh, so I've got the shades Serenity, Honesty and Hope. Uh, I wear Honesty and Hope the most because they are literally like a nude shade and a pinky shade. I love the nude shade because where do you get nude lip tints from? They are more of a lip tint than they are an oil, I'd say. They're almost like the the lip tint is an oil, if, that, if I'm making any sense there. But I quite like it. They're not a really drying lip tint. And I feel like with lip tints, I am not very good at reapplying lipstick <laughs> throughout the day. Uh, so with a lip tint, at least, like it looks a bit more put together. Um, so these are my favourite shades that I wear the most, but I also have Serenity, but uh, for whatever reason, I just don't gravitate towards it as much as the others, but it's a bit more of like a, a ready brown. It's definitely more of an autumn shade. It's probably why I'm not reaching for it as much yet, but it's a gorgeous formula. Um, I get it from Space NK because I like to use my get my points and you can always get that five pound off voucher but you can also get them from sephora as well so i'll link these down below they're really comfortable and yeah i just really like them i just keep gravitating towards them and wearing them all the time so yeah i love them another mist that i would like to bring up is this glow hub this is the nourishing and hydrate serum mist infused with peach and coconut and hyaluronic acid. I love putting this on my face in front of the fan. This is a blast. This is a mega, it's a big moment. It smells gorgeous. It smells like peaches. This is very, very like juicy. It's a juicy mist. I don't particularly use it over makeup. I use this when I'm doing skincare 
or just as I'm about to do put my makeup on just to just to freshen everything up i really like it i think glow hub is quite an affordable skincare brand itself the packaging is really really cute it's giving me kind of um glow recipe vibes it smells really nice it does have that really nice um juicy glowy feel and i do know that when you're using like hyaluronic acid so maybe you're using a hyaluronic acid serum you have to like wet your face with something prior to kind of like activate it and get it working. So this could be a great step to add to your routine. But I just find it really refreshing. And some of these like refreshing facial mists, like the Codely one can get really expensive and they're literally doing the same thing. Um, so I really, really like this one. And you have got, like I said, um, the, the hyaluronic acid. Um, you could use this after makeup, but it's not a fixing spray. It's probably just going to kind of like now it's gonna be a bit like a mac fix plus but more dewy um so more likely more likely to maybe break apart your makeup a little bit um so yeah i really like using this before makeup and like when i'm doing my like nighttime routine so what should we do next let's do some fragrances because oh, i love summer fragrances now these aren't like i'm not revealing something to you that you probably never heard of before uh but i love them and i got a new one and i really like it uh, so <laughs> i love the sol de janeiro body mists um i like getting the smaller ones because they are a lot cheaper um and the big ones are huge and unless you're using that spray every every single day um i'm much more of a variety person i would rather have two or three small ones than one big one that's my way of thinking uh, however if you really like one of the specific scents then probably just getting the big ones the way to go my favorite one is uh the brazilian crush uh cherosa 40 which is black amber plum and vanilla wood this is so good. So I'll read you the fragrance notes. Uh, black amber plum, creme de cassis, jasmine blooms, um, Brazilian orchid in the middle, and the dry down is vanilla woods and warm musk. This smells sexy. I wish they made this in a perfume. It's it's dark nighttime fruits. There's almost a bit of trifle in it, like sherry trifle it's gorgeous you've got the vanilla which i'm guessing is giving me the kind of custody vibes it's just absolutely stunning it's a very sophisticated fruity scent and i really really like it um i do think this is more of like a nighttime body spray if i'm ever going out for like drinks after work or um you know going out for a little meal but i don't want to like it's not like an out out situation where you're dressing up but you just want to like, you know, re -juge. I like to re with that. And then I did get this in the Duty Free. This Oh, and you can now get Rio de Janeiro in the Duty Free. It's not Rio de Janeiro. <laughs> you can't get Rio de Janeiro in the Duty Free. Sol de Janeiro. <laughs> you can get Sol de Janeiro in the Duty Free now, uh, at least at, at Gatwick um so this is brazilian jasmine and pink dragon fruit definitely more fruity than floral i do i am a fruity gal uh, but this does have a more floral base than the other one that has a more vanilla base uh, however there is vanilla in here uh, so it's dragon fruit and lychee i love lychee fragrances uh, brazilian jasmine ocean air and hibiscus and sheer vanilla and sun musk um, and the dry down this is daytime i feel like if you this is daytime and this is nighttime and like the bottle gets a little bit darker um this is oh it's beautiful it's just sweet but summery, like this on warm skin is just going to be, mm, it's just lovely. And I feel like, ooh, don't want to get makeup on my sofa. I feel like, yeah, I feel like anyone will kind of like these, these scents. I feel like Sol de Janeiro is always a really safe bet for like a gift as well, especially if they've got like a summer birthday or something. 
they're just really nice i really like them and you can put them in your hair apparently as well so love them now if we're talking perfume i did a little youtube short who am i mrs youtube short over here um on my new perfume that i picked up at the duty free <laughs> i love the duty free <laughs> um i buy these every single year they are the well they called it escaping with a scada i don't know if that's what they've always called it but every year they will do a perfume that's inspired by a um, holiday destination and they've done like um amalfi i think um tulum like mexico um italy's featured a lot there was like a watermelon italian situation that was really good <laughs> um but this year we are going to santorini how gorgeous is this box um this perfume is incredibly affordable normally you can find it in Superdrug for maybe around 30 pounds perfect for summer i think it's such a good price um and it doesn't feel like a cheap perfume there's a really nice story and theming behind it the bottle is really really beautiful it's glass metal cap it doesn't feel cheap it doesn't feel like a 30 pound perfume if you told me this was 55 60 pounds i would believe you um but you can normally get these on offer so you know try and get it for around that 30 pound. i think i paid 29 pounds in the airport bargain um so every year they're like a different gradient they're just so cute um so i think this one's got like a lemon situation mm, 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 mm. yes i think there's a it's like a lemon sorbet i think there are some florals in there as well i'll pop up the notes i'll be good <laughs> i'll add them to the video um they it's just it's just a delicious sweet citrus scent it's not going to last you the longest time none of them particularly do um but they're just perfect for summer again make excellent gifts um but i really like them and if you see it in the duty free you want to treat yourself to a little perfume for your holiday they're an excellent buy. And if ever I see anyone looking at them in the duty free, I'm always like, oh, it's really nice. Just try it. <laughs> I should get my job, myself a job as a salesperson. Um, so a lot of you were wondering what are my opinions on the Garnier Hair Foods um, and the L'Oreal 8 Second Wonder. Uh, so I've used this twice and I've used the L'Oreal one once. And I think they're the same product. I think they are. They both warm up <laughs> the same. Um... The only difference I can kind of gather is the scent. Um, the L'Oreal one is more like hair care scent, which isn't my favourite. Uh, but the Garnier ones smell like fruits. <laughs> so <laughs> it's really a, um, it's going to be a scent preference for you here. I do think these are pretty good. Now, bear in mind, I have keratin treated hair, though I think you can tell I'm coming to the end it's starting to get a bit fuzzy. <laughs> it is a hot day though. Um, I do think it works pretty well if you've got hair like mine. It is for like longer tangly hair and it is going to give you smoother um, frizz free hair. Now I've seen some ads on this. I think I've been kind of using it a little bit wrong so I just want to share the news. You shampoo first which is what I was doing. But then I was using this like a conditioner rather than using my hair mask. But you're meant to do shampoo, hair mask, and then this. So I'm going to do that next time and use the full whammy, the full set. Um, but I do like this. I do think it does do something. I don't know if I'd pay £10 for it. I think if the L'Oreal one was on offer of £5, I'd pick that one. And then when this was on £5, I'd pick up this one. Um, yeah. I think the thing is, when you know you can get it for five pounds, you're going to wait until it's five pounds rather than pay ten pounds for it. That's my way of thinking. Another Garnier product I really enjoy. Garnier, please sponsor me. <laughs> um, I love this. This um is the superfood. So it's in the exact same tubs as the hair food, but this is the body superfood range. I get dry, itchy legs, especially now. I'm back to shaving my legs. <laughs> but they get so itchy and I've been getting bug bites and all sorts. And I have been using this body butter 
quite religiously like i've used quite a lot of it but the tub is enormous i love it being in a tub rather than a bottle um my boyfriend loves this stuff as well um, because he's been getting really itchy skin bless him um so he's got a tub of this now which he's really enjoying this also smells incredibly expensive if you've ever smelled chanel skincare it smells absolutely gorgeous it's fresh there is like a floral fresh but clean smell and it smells exactly like this i've always loved the, the smell it's the chanel like aqua range or something reminds me so much of this even with like texturally it reminds me oh it's so like it's not like a hundred percent aloe but it's it sinks in really really nicely they also do like a cocoa butter one which is a lot more thicker i like this because it's cooling um and it sinks in really fast and again you can get this on special offer so wait until it's on special offer of course um but yeah i really love this and i love how big it is and then finally a couple of household bits <laughs> I'm just really enjoying coconut rum or oh, coconut liqueur. Um, I find that the supermarket brand one is just as good as a Malibu. Um, so I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> um, and then finally, a bit random, but I, I love this. This is the Febreze Strawberry Swell Scent. This room's going to be so stinky. It's really nice. It's a fresh strawberry scent. My mouth is full of perfumes. <laughs> but I absolutely love it. I think it's a really nice, fun fragrance for summer. I love anything strawberry. And that is what I'm currently loving. <laughs> Just a small selection. So if you enjoyed this video, um, let me know down below in the comments what your current favourites are. Give this video a big thumbs up. And if you have got this far, if you've been listening to me ramble for almost half an hour, oh my god i'm sorry folks um then why not subscribe if you haven't yet this is the perfect opportunity to do so um and i will see you again very very soon bye